Hi parents! So we've been working on patterns in math this week and a lot of you are wondering how can I help my kids with these patterns? They seem really confusing. Sure, it does. It's a big riddle. It's a problem solving thing. We have to figure out what's the pattern first and then fill in the blanks. So first of all, we have our input numbers. One, two, four, and ten. Okay? So if I have one of something, what happens to it to get my output? Four. Okay, so I had one, now I have four. Well, I could have added three, one, two, three, four, right? Or I could have multiplied by four. Those are my two kind of options. So what if I had one turned into four and two turned into eight? If I add three to one, does it turn into four? Yeah, but let's check that pattern. If I add three to two, two, three, four, five, that doesn't make eight. So one times four equals four. Two times four equals eight. So now that I know the pattern, I can now do four times four equals 16, and 10 times four <laughs> equals 40. So that's the trick, that's how you do it. The tips are, if it's going up, if my input is getting bigger, then it's gonna be a plus or a multiplication. If my input is getting smaller, just say I had five candies are in one package. 10 candies are in two packages. How many packages do I need in order to have 20 candies? How many packages do I need in order to have 25? Ooh. So it's getting smaller, so am I minusing or dividing? Five to one, that's minus four, right? But 10 minus four isn't two, so what am I doing? I have five turns into one. What divided by five equals one? Well, five divided by five equals one. So five divided by five equals one. 10 divided by five equals two. 20 divided by five equals four, and 25 divided by five equals five. So if your input is getting smaller into your output, you're going to divide or subtract. If your input is getting larger, that means that the pattern is adding or multiplying. So we can try this with a lot of different things. You can try with things around the house. Just say your kitty cat has four paws. How many paws does two kitty cats have? Eight. How many paws does 20 kitty cats have? Times four, times four, so that would be 40. And these numbers might not go in order, so don't let that freak you out. It could be a three, it could be a seven, it could be a 20. Keep the pattern, just timesing by four, okay? So I hope that helps.